the, the gameplay is pretty solid, but it's all, all in all, they say it's nothing special or out of the ordinary. That, that's the best feedback I've heard, but everything else is bad. The graphics are bad. The character design is bad. The gameplay is bad. I've seen the foot, the notorious IGN footage clip. I've seen it so many times. And overall, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for the game. It's like they need they Ubisoft needs this game to succeed because it's one of their biggest projects, and it's I'm sure they paid a lot of royalties to Disney, especially they're carrying mm. the Star Wars name. So they need to this to be big and. Right now, the reception is it's not so good. Maybe the actual numbers we could be wrong, but right now the perception in the internet it's not so good. Yep. So is this the one that you said right over here? Is this the one right over here where like he beats, he knocks out a stormtrooper with her hand? Yeah. If you if you do slow mo, if you if you try to do slow mo in that, the hand doesn't even. Hypnotic talked about this in his uh, in his channel. It doesn't even hit the helmet if you look at it. It's just they just anim they placed smoke in the helmet, but it doesn't if you look carefully, it doesn't even hit the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god, man. This is your quadruple A game, right? Mm -hmm. Quadruple A. Quadruple A gaming. This is crazy. So it, yeah, they, they conceal it with a smoke to make it seem like she hit him, but she didn't even hit him if you look. Wow. <laughs> this is lazy, man. Yeah. And they want Absolutely. you to they want you to pay $130 for the entire game so you can get the mm -hmm. the what's it called again? There's like a there's like a DLC with um Jabba the Hutt or something like that that's only locked inside the um, the, the the most expensive one. Oh man, that's that's pretty shitty, man. Like and here's what makes it worse is is this right over here. Gotta say, the gameplay for Star Wars Outlaw looks almost as bad as K Vess's face. Yeah. Blaster the, battles felt like they had meaningful stakes, and the stealth gameplay had a bit of weight to it because I knew that I'd be up against Oh my god, man. That, that, that is a super bad clip to take on the editor's part. <laughs> Look at but, that. This is the really, really good blaster. Look at that. Oh my god, this is so yeah. awful. Yeah, I understand. The two are just standing there. Like, oh, what are you yeah, doing? I'm, yeah, you doing? I'm going to let you reload. This is the best <laughs> game I've ever played. 10 out of 10. Yep. Oh, my God, man. And the thing is that what makes it worse is what they did to K Vess's face. Yeah. Like. Yeah, they could have easily gotten a lot more better reception if they just kept her actual face intact. Yeah, like her nose is a lot bigger in real life. You you should have copied that one to one. Why did you make her chin? You why did you give her a chin dimple? Like, it's so bad. It's not. It doesn't even look like her anymore. She looks mm -hmm. awful, man. Right, right over here. Uh, the face model of the main character, Star Wars Outlaws, on the left. What Ubisoft did to her is on the right. They are determined to make a bland and ugly woman for video games. If you go down over here, I love this one over here. The face you make when you discover your parents are first degree cousins. <laughs> 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 oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. But the thing is that I guess the director does not care. This comes from IGN. Star Wars Outlaws director, bad faith discourse about protagonist's appearance not worth engaging in. There's no nuance and no possibility of real dialogue. The real dialogue is why did you make her ugly compared to her model? Absolutely. Right? That that answer that question. I have one question for you, uh, director of the game. Why did you make Humberly Gonzalez look ugly in the game? She's insane. She's pretty damn attractive in this photo. Yeah. What happened yeah. here? Yeah, they'll probably say, "Oh, it's actually hard to do motion capture." But then you can argue, "How come? Why is it? Why is that not the case for male characters like Cal from Star Wars?" Uh. Jedi, Fallen Order, and Jedi Survivor. They captured them one-to-one. -one. 
So you can't really say that for this case. Like you could have done the same, but you chose preemptively chose not to. Yep. The thing is that I'm gonna bring up the photo. Remember the photo right over here. Dude looks exactly like the actor. Not mm -hmm. it's it's so good here. It's like, oh, it's actually really, really hard to capture female faces versus man faces. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, you you put like you you're modeling the character and it's based off of a character. It should be really, really easy to do. Oh no, but it's really hard. Yeah, they just want to uglify all the characters, man. Star Wars Outlaw creative director Jillian Garrity isn't interested in entertaining bad faith conversations about the upcoming Ubisoft games protagonist Kay Vest. As previews for the upcoming open world title rolled out this week, uh, Garrity, as I say it, in an interview with the Washington Post, touched on the discourse that some are pushing the social media that Kay isn't attractive enough. That's not what we're trying to say. We're saying that she does not look like her model. She, based off of how she looks like here, she looks, she looks like she's gotten work done, like Aaron Moriarty. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. Yeah. Oh shit. That's true. His response: Don't give that conversation attention. K is meant to be approachable, a petty theft thief. Sorry. Who ends up in uh, up barreling through the story, making bad decisions, and centered uh, with a lot of humor, humility, and toughness? Uh, Garaiti said, uh, "That's what's important to me. She's beautiful. Come on, no, she's not. No, she's <laughs> not, man. I would not. If I was the last man on Earth, and we put a bag on her head, I would consider it. What about you, Gray?" Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'll even go that far. <laughs> Damn. Grace holding up a sign says yeah. no uggos. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and whenever you put me in that situation, what if you're like the only man left and the, she's the only woman left? Okay, th then the world may as well end. <laughs> He's like, all right, the world, the world's ending with world's us. Ending. Nope. Yep. Nope. <laughs> oh man, dude. You see, it makes no sense to me, and it's not worth engaging with. If you engage with bad faith people, there's no nuance, no possibility of real dialogue. So we can all do is make the uh the best game possible. Garaiti's comments come after Ubisoft raised eyebrows with a statement on another one of the upcoming games, Assassin's Creed Shadows. In the statement, the company apologized to its Japanese community for promotional elements that have caused concern. Moderate raises the uh of the main Assassin's Creed subreddit, ex uh, sorry, complained that the statement exacerbated and the tedious discussion about protagonist Yasuke and his status as a samurai and warned the user against engaging in the debate. And I heard that if you actually go onto the subreddit for Assassin's Creed Shadow, according to what I heard, I'm not sure if it's true. If you say anything about Yasuke not being a samurai, you're banned. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've seen videos about it. I, I don't go to Reddit, so I wouldn't know. But yeah, it's... I think it's typical Reddit moderator behavior. It's like it's I don't know. It's such an overreach on their part, but yeah, it is what it is. That's Reddit for you. Yeah. See, if you engage with bad people, no possibly real dialogue. Now, here's the thing. Um, the reason why he doesn't want to change it is because if he changes it, that means it proves that he's wrong, which he is. Right? He doesn't want to admit that he's wrong, so that's why he's sticking to his guns. You know, I have respect for your um, your uh, commitment to making your characters ugly, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's fine. But the thing is, uh, you are still wrong no matter what. So uh, I I think that uh, if the fact that you're gonna make, you're gonna be making this character like she, like I said, this is an actual downgrade. Let's say I give Humberly Gonzalez like she's like an like based off of this picture alone, she's like a nine. I don't even know how her body looks like. Just based off of her face, she's like a nine in terms mm -hmm. of like attractiveness. This one over here is like a three, at best. Yeah, that's true, man. All right, let's go ahead and finish out the article. Let's see, right over here it says, uh, "We've been learning more and more about Star Wars Outlaws as its final previews published this week in IGN's preview." Ryan Mc 
McCaffrey wrote that he had a fantastic time with the game. Oh, is he talking about this one? He's talking about this one. Yeah. Yeah, and the uh, and the uh, other uh, one. And this one? And that and one, this one? And that one. This one? <laughs> I don't know if, if he's the one who's editing his own videos or if it's another editor. That, that, that's such a huge failure. <laughs> you could have easily concealed that and got yeah. another clip. Yeah, you got yeah. a really, really bad. This is, this is not it, man. Let's yeah. see. Uh, open world games tend to be a jack of all trades, master of none. And while I'm not sure Outlaws will master any of its gameplay components, it's nevertheless not only does them all very well, but it does it with so convincing Star Wars Sheen. Star Wars Outlaws will be released on PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S on PC on August 30th, which is uh, not far from now. But the thing yeah. is that I will not be playing this game come near mm-hmm. end of August because it's another mm-hmm. game that I'll be playing, mm-hmm. which is Black Myth Wukong. Wukong. Yeah, it, it has stiff competition too, on top of all the controversy. But in yeah. terms of this article, I a part of me doesn't blame the game director because like he had to, like he was he wasn't gonna admit, oh right, it's ugly. Oh right, the game sucks. <laughs> He's gonna get yeah. fired immediately. So a part of me gets it why he had to say that thing because like you know he works for he works for Ubisoft, so he had to say that even if maybe deep inside maybe he feels what we feel, but. If you were in that position, if you want to keep your job, you have to say what exactly what he said. But what? But what makes matters worse is they also don't care. Ubisoft does not care about anything. I'm gonna quickly go over this article right over here. This is from Tweak Town. Ubisoft recommends GeForce RTX 3060 Ti Crazy. rendering at 720 to Crazy, play Star yeah. Wars Outlaws on PC. Yeah. I- I, I might not be able to cover it. I, I, I want to get to Ubisoft. If I want to cover this game, it's going to be through Ubisoft Plus, not not buying the game outright. So if I if my PC can't run it, then forget it. <laughs> I'll skip it. Yeah. That's what I So think. how much is a 30 set? How much is a 3070 right now? Yeah. Right, the 3070 TI. TI. Usually very pricey. The TI, the TI models are very pricey. Okay. A 3070 right now is 600 bucks. 3060. Expensive. 3060 Ti right now. 3060 Ti. So this is not Ti. Where's the Ti? Okay, 3060 Ti is about anywhere from... Okay, the new one is $500. And you're only getting 720 yeah, not just, even not even full HD, not even. Oh, it's, yeah, imagine it's, playing it's like, 4K. Just, when when I look at the footage of the game, my 2070 should be able to run it just fine. And then they're asking for this kind of crazy new newer GPUs to run it on 720. It's like, come on, you you have to be doing it on purpose so that people buy more Nvidia cards. See right up here. That's all there is. But, DLSS, yeah, like DLSS and FCR, man. They, they, yeah, they, yeah, they did. They chose not to optimize. It's like fuck older shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I, I, if I can't even run it on medium, forget it. I'm not gonna cover the game, even though if it's for content. Okay, so the byline says DLSS and FSR are required to play Star Wars Outlaws at all resolutions on PC if you want to hit a 60 FPS. Even at 1080, you'll need to upscale from 720. Man. Oh, this game is going to look great. This game is going to look awesome. No one is going to be able to see it. (laughs) So in order for you to increase it to 1440, right, you'll need a 3080. If you want 1080 1080 at 60, you need at least a 3060 Ti. But given that, it's still be set to quality, which means that the game the game at 720 will be an upscaler. So if you want 4K, you need 4080. Yeah. It, if Assassin's Creed Shadows has similar specs, then good, good luck, man. Good, good luck for the game. Like, holy cow. That's insane specs that you're asking yeah. for in today's like, economy. Imagine it's like so. So, what is the minimum specifications? I'm reading. Okay, minimum specifications right over here. Windows 10, uh, an i7, uh, 8700K. You need a 1660. 
16 gigs of RAM and 65 gigs for storage. And that's at 1080, 30 frames per second at low, gra- uh, low quality. Yeah. That's really bad. Yeah, that's minimum, minimum requirement. Yeah, that's like- min spec. And then recommended is an RTX 3060, 16 gigs of RAM to play at 1080, 60. That's upscaled from 720. And if you want high and ultra, of course, you need to go up. So if you want to have the best looking game, the best smoothest 60 FPS, you need a 4080. And how much is a 4080? It's like $1,000? Yeah, I think even more. I would think even more than that. Yeah. Man, that sucks, dude. Yeah, I, I would say if this is like this for this game, this also, I would say it's going to be like that for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Mm-hmm. Or there's like, just uh, buy a PS5. Just buy, just buy a PS5. Who cares? Yeah, it kind of solves it. But the thing is, console games are like significantly more expensive compared to their Steam counterparts, which is why I'm leaning more towards Steam recently because like they're a lot cheaper Southeast Asia market wise. But yeah, it is what it is. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.